Hello friends, so today we're going to discuss or actually we're going to start a series on DP in which we're going to discuss a lot of problems on DP from code forces, from various difficulty problems, for very old problems and very, very new problems, but we're going to do all a lot of problems on DP in this series. So the first problem here is boredom, which is a very old problem, but it is a good problem based on DP. As you can see, we're gonna first understand the question. So Alex doesn't like boredom, and that's why whenever he go get bored, he can play this game. So you can understand that you are given a sequence of n integers, as you can see. Now the player can make several steps okay in single step what the player can do he can choose any element of the sequence that noted by ak okay he will choose some element and then delete it okay that element will delete it and all the elements equal to ak plus one and ak minus one must also be deleted from the sequence okay so what does this mean you will choose one number you will delete that number and all the elements which have the value of less than that number and like one less one greater than that number should also be deleted like any occurrence of that number so when you do this one step that step will bring you a k points which is this point the number you have chosen initially and then after this you have to find out the maximum number of points you can get now though this problem seems very difficult but you're gonna draw this out i always encourage all my members and all my like viewers to first draw this question out draw some test cases try to get some gist uh, like at least try to get some information out, out out of that question even though you cannot solve it but try to find out some like key points such that when you read the editorial or like watch my videos you can get some hints so first pause this video right now and then try to solve this question you can also go to the description box open this question and try to solve this question first then come to this video so if you have done something let's start the explanation in which as you can see we're gonna first like take this example because there's also some like example or explanation for this test case so we're gonna take this example as you can see if i take this number two let's assume i take this number two and i will delete this two as well i will delete all the numbers which are less than one two which is equal to one so i will delete all the occurrences of one because see the question statement states that you have to delete the current number you have chosen and one minus the number all the occurrence of those numbers and one plus the occurrence of all those numbers so if you choose this number you will delete this two and all the ones and all the threes so after this step you will get two points and the new array will look like this because you have deleted this to all the threes all the ones so this only these two are remaining and now even if you delete one two you cannot delete other numbers so let's assume that i delete this two so like other two will not get hampered from this because like there is no number which is greater than one or less than one these are equal to this number so we understand from this like example is that we have to first count out the frequency because see if i delete three how should i know that i should delete three i should not delete two because actually you have to find out what is the maximum frequency like what is the frequency of every number because according to the frequency we'll do something so we have to first find out the frequency of every number so let's draw it out for this test case let's find out the frequency of one two and three the frequency of one is equal to one one so frequency of one this is actually storing the frequency which is equal to two the frequency of two is equal to these are four numbers and one five numbers and the frequency of three is equal to as you can see two now you have this information now what we're gonna persist is that first whenever in dp problems whenever in dp problems try to find out some smaller suboptimal things okay now in such type of thing you have to find out the maximum number of points okay when you have to find out the maximum points maybe it's it is a form of dp problem okay so now you're gonna understand how to find out some some optimal state sub sub optimal states so first see let's assume that i have only one element all ones because now i'm iterating over the frequencies so i will take talk about only i have only numbers ones i have only number twos i have only number threes and so on so if i think about this i have only number ones then how much steps i have to do i have only all the numbers which are equal to one if i have all ones then i can delete 
one like i can delete this and delete this delete this so the count of the frequency of ones is the answer of this so if this is a function the answer is just count of one now if i have i will also store f of zero which is actually equal to zero because there is no number so i will also store f of zero now f of two which means i have some numbers one and some number two okay the position of this number doesn't matter but we have to choose some number let's assume i choose one if i choose one then i will delete all the currencies of two which is bad because see if i delete all the currencies of two then i am actually losing out a lot of score because i can i will get the score of this because i'm choosing this number but i will all actually losing out a lot of score so this is not very beneficial so the beneficial part is so see i have two options either i can choose if i like i am on this two part like i have to find out the two part either i can choose this i can choose this number so if i choose this number i will delete all the occurrences of this numbers i will choose the occurrences of ones and i will choose the occurrences of three i would i don't know actually whether three exists or not but i am just assuming for my current state i have only numbers occurring from one and two if i choose all the numbers from two then what will happen all the occurrence of like one will delete and how many like only two will remain okay if two only remain how how what well, like what is the maximum score i can get the maximum score i can get is the count of two count of two how many twos are there into the number of twos which is like two only because see for every two i will get two scores so like if there are five count five twos i will get 10 points because for every two like there are five twos so for every two i will get two points for every three i will get three points and so on so i will know the count of three so now if this is a subcase then all these numbers get deleted and like, like if there's some rest of the numbers so let's assume that i have some numbers let's assume there's a state called one one two two three three what is my if these are the next state which is f of three let's assume either i can take these numbers then i will delete all these numbers two and if i delete all these numbers then these numbers are also remaining so for the rest of the numbers i have find out the sub suboptimal like answer which is equal to f of one so the answer is whether i can take all these numbers and and all these numbers back numbers or if i don't take this number if i don't take three then i will take two if i take two like these numbers then i know the suboptimal answer for these numbers which is like f of i minus one so my thing is for f of n finding out any of f n my i will have to find out the maximum score i have two options whether i can take i will take this number if i take this number which is like like this number so my thing is i have to find out the count of that number which is f of i n to count of i plus if this is the i state then i minus 2 f of i minus 2 i will add this to this else i will do a comma else if i don't take this state i will find out the maximum of f of i minus 1 and i will find out this maximum over all the n possible things now what is the actual answer for this like what is the final answer i have to find out see i have to find out that in this case the answer is stored at f of 3 it, this is though this length is 10 but the answer is not at not at the position of like f of 10 because f of 10 means that I have all the numbers till 1 to 10. What I have defined. If I have all the numbers till 1, 2, 3. So I have to find out the maximum number for f. So I will also find out the maximum num number among all of these numbers. And f of those maximum number, maxi, will tell us the answer. This sounds a little bit confusing, but the whole logic is very simple. So we have to find out the suboptimal states for f of i, f of like i minus 2. And for the current state, I have two options. And for those two options, I will find out these answers. And my answer lies on f of maxi, maximum among all the elements. I hope you get the point and the gist of the problem. So let's move on to the code part now. So as you can see, in this code, I have found out the maxi. While also I am updating out the frequency, which is stored in A. I am updating my frequency and also finding out the maximum among all the elements. After this, I have initialized this, will store out my solution. Okay, so this is the state 
uh, to store all the suboptimal states. So b of zero is zero. B of one is the count of the one. So count is stored in this. So a of one. And for for all the further numbers from two till the very large number, which is the maximum limit, you can also go till maximum. And you have to find out b of i just store out the maximum among the last element b of i minus one, or you can take the current element, which is the free count of this current element is a of i into i plus. If I take this element, I have to do the a, like b of i minus two, and then I have to do it this for all the elements, and the answer is chosen b of max. I hope you get the answer on the code for the whole question. If you still have any doubts, please mention down. More videos are coming in the series, so stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one. Keep coding. Bye.